Novice Hurdlers next then for the Jupiter Jimmy Novices Hurdle, two and a half miles. And I'll see you at the top four. David Hooney, Diamond Star, Graham Clutterbuck, Pizza Hut, Matt Cooper, Punto Sam, Darren Thompson, Southern Optimist, Craig Beckwith, Substitute David Robertson, Theoretically Speaking, Joshua Sutherland, Mini Fortune Time, Leon Van Rensburg, Newsnut, Martin Cairns, Petroglyph, Raven, Padre Gogan, and Seven Bridges Road for Martin Leadham, the locally trained horse at the bottom. That's 11 this time, two and a half miles, and away we go. And a pair of greys in this again. Pizza Hut and the red jacket. It's just the first to show from Joshua Sutherland, theoretically speaking, as they get to the first. There's Pizza Hut that led over it. Theoretically speaking, he's looming on its outside. Looks like it might be sharing an interest in the lead. Nothing seems all that keen to go on at the moment. It's almost a case of after you, Claude, at this point as they make their way towards the second and Graham Clutterbuck's Diamond Star has now come through to take a share of the lead as well. As they get to the second, over that one theoretically speaking, and Diamond Star virtually landed together. News not and substitute, the two running a little bit wider on the track. Also running a little bit wider is Al Sugu in the purple jacket towards the rear. Yeah. On the uphill climb towards the stand there, and theoretically speaking has gone into a lead of about a length, looks to have settled down in front as they take the third. Um, Diamond Star second, Pizza Hut third, then Substitute is fourth, with News Dot in fifth, and Mini Fortune Time on the inside of Punto Sand. And the back four on the inside out, Seven Bridges Road, the Yellow Jacketed Petroglyph Raven, and Southern Optimist, and finally just Al Sudia, the top, the back marker, and the top one on the card as they get over the fourth. Which they're all safely over. And theoretically speaking, now a good two and a half lengths clear. Oh, Diamond Star clear second. Over flight five. Which they all got over nicely. Good jump towards the rear from Seven Bridges Road, who's making his way through the field as they come up past the stand then. And past the winning post. And continue the uphill climb until they get to this turn, and then it'll be downhill. Right down to the bottom of the dip, and then. Stiff will be able to climb all the way home. Really got to stay the trip at Toaster. Um, theoretically speaking, I suddenly found himself five lengths clear. Oh, Diamond Star in second, News Nut in third, Punto Sound fourth, Substitute is after that one. Then Mini Fortune Time has been moved off the fence. Pizza Hut has just dropped back a little bit. Seven British Road is getting a dream run up the inside at this point as they get over the sixth. And down on its nose there was Pizza Hut. In towards the back petroglyph raven is just the back marker but theoretically speaking then continues to lead by a good two lengths or more diamond star second punto sound third seven bridges road has crept through on the inside in fourth then news not mini fortune time into the final mile in there five more flights to take and theoretically speaking is the leader by about three lengths to Diamond Star second, Seven Bridges Road on the inside is third, then Mini Fortune Time and Punto Sand. Substitute is next as they skip over the seventh. And theoretically speaking, a couple of lengths clear, but Diamond Star looks to be going well in second. Seven Bridges Road on the inside is third. Pizza Hot now trying to get back into it. Mini Fortune Time is still there, so is Punto Sand. The only one who looks out of it is Petroglyph Raven who's beginning to tail off as they come to the fourth from home. And theoretically speaking, skips over it in front from Diamond Star in second. Then Pizza Hut is third. Seven Bridges Road still there on the inside. Fourth, Ponto Sound and Mini Fortune Time. Switching around the outside, Southern Optimist is making good ground as well as they've got three more to take. And it's theoretically speaking, who's a good three or four lengths clear of Diamond Star in second. Seven Bridges Road is next. Petroglyph Raven's been pulled up at the back. But it's theoretically speaking, who's in the lead over the third last from Seven Bridges Road and Punto Sand. Then come the two greys, Diamond Star and Pizza Hut, Southern Optimist, still trying to run on. Mini Fortune time with work to do. They've got a couple more flights to take. They're swinging towards home now, and it's theoretically speaking in the lead. From Seven Bridges Road in second and Punto Sand third. Surely between these three as they race to the second last flight. Theoretically speaking, over in front. Then Seven Bridges Road and Diamond Star trying to close. All coming from the back then. But it's theoretically speaking, who's about two lengths clear. Seven Bridges Road looks the main danger. 
Major Ponto sailing over the final flight and it's theoretically speaking from Seven Bridges Road as they race up the water Waterline theoretically speaking he's hanging on and he's going to take it theoretically speaking he wins it Seven Bridges Road in second Ponto Star third and then Diamond Star fourth Southern Optimist after that and all the way back to News Nut well, it's another one on the board for Joshua Sutherland he takes it by a couple of lengths Seven Bridges Road second the local horse touched off again Punto Sand third so theoretically speaking for Joshua Sutherland the winner Seven Bridges Road for Martin Lincoln was second Punto Sand Darren Thompson was third Diamond Star Grand Clutterbuck fourth and Mini Fortune Time for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth